everyone, Beatia. Welcome back to Getting to Know Fibers and Fabrics Season 1. Today we are looking at bamboo. Bamboo is an amazing natural fiber that can be used in clothing and other household goods. Bamboo fabric is a natural textile that is made from bamboo pulp that comes from bamboo grass. The bamboo fiber is made by pulping the bamboo grass until it separates into thin threads of fiber, which is then spun and dyed for weaving into clothing. Bamboo textiles are increasingly becoming more and more popular. Similar to what we've seen in the hemp episode, people are trying to make it much cheaper, therefore making a bamboo viscose instead of just having it as pure 100% bamboo. Having it as bamboo viscose makes it much cheaper. And we've seen in the viscose episode how viscose is made. The pulp usually goes through a chemical process and is then pushed through a spinneret, which um, makes the small little fibers. But that is not what we want. We want 100% pure bamboo when we're buying it. Again, similar to hemp, we've seen a lot of greenwashing in this industry where companies and brands advertise clothing and other items to be 100% bamboo, but again, it is actually viscose bamboo. Viscose definitely has a negative impact on the environment, whereas when we work with 100% pure natural fibers such as linen, hemp, bamboo, cotton and so forth and there's no chemicals involved, we're sitting with a much cleaner and much more sustainable fabric and fiber. Let's go into a few examples of bamboo. I've got this pair of leggings over here, extremely stretchable. This is definitely not an alternative in my opinion to um, my gym leggings that I have at the moment but this is very comfortable to wear at the house and as I've shown that they are extremely stretchable which is really nice and makes them comfortable. You'll see that the surface is extremely soft, smooth, and they are comfortable to wear, even though it is not 100% pure bamboo, but bamboo viscose. You'll see here at the bottom that we're actually looking at viscose and not bamboo. So the item that I bought over here is not 100% pure bamboo. This is a massive bamboo scarf that I bought at a beautiful market in Cape Town and it is one of my favorite, I'd say, winter items but I also love wearing this in autumn. I feel like Coco Chanel or something when I'm wearing this, like draped around my shoulders. I'd say the fiber feels and looks very much like cotton um, but if you look up close, you might see that it is pilling a little bit. And that is one of the negatives um, of bamboo, but it is so little that I really don't mind it. I don't find the need to go over this item with a shaver. Let's look at the general pros. The fabric is highly absorbent and it is extremely soft as I mentioned before. It is breathable because it's a natural fiber and it is actually quite well insulating. So that scarf really does work extremely well in winter times as well. Cons, the original texture can be rough when it's untreated bamboo. And with untreated bamboo, I mean not viscose bamboo, just normal bamboo. Although I must say that scarf was never rough um, and I haven't really encountered extremely rough um, bamboo textiles but I've seen it in quite a few sources as listed as being rough. As shown the item can pull and the item can also wrinkle and again we sitting with the green washing as explained also in the hemp episode lots of companies market and advertise their clothing and their goods that they sell as being green and environmentally friendly when in fact it is actually a bamboo viscose and not completely bamboo. And I really do encourage you to always look at the little label of the textile composition. Environmental pros. It is extremely fast growing and no fertilizer is needed when growing bamboo 
and itself regenerates therefore you don't constantly have to plant new plants um, new ones will naturally just grow out of an existing plant environmental cons mass producers are not transparent and therefore they can be using lots of pesticides they can be clearing lots of land and the harvesting methods are really not um, environmentally friendly the reason why i'm saying this is that the bamboo that we have in most of the items that we own are actually bamboo that is harvested in china and they are not extremely transparent with the ways they are growing and harvesting bamboo therefore we don't really know what is happening to those textiles before we receive them here in a raw-ish form or in a completed item and another con which I've touched upon is um, the biggest form of bamboo is usually in the form of rayon or viscose and therefore chemicals are used and that will actually have to look at the viscose episode in terms of how that is being made. That is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Have a lovely day. Cheers guys.